doll heads. These tiny heads are great for little baby dolls like our little bunny here. If you'd like the pattern for our little bunny, you can find the link in the description. First, you need to gather your supplies. I've got cotton tubular bandage or gauze, linen thread, cotton tying thread, clean carded wool roving. I've also got some little snips that I use, scissors, and some pliers, which are quite helpful. Of course, you need a little needle as well. Now I've taken the cotton tubular gauge and I'm just cutting it in half because mine is tubular. I'm going to flatten it out here because I don't need a big tube of it as you would making a regular doll head. I've taken my clean carded wool and I've scrunched it into a little ball and as I go I thin the wall out and try to wrap it around my little ball keeping the whole thing tight as I go. I'm thinning the wool out as I prepare it to wrap it around. It's easier to wrap it if it's in thin pieces rather than being thick and clumpy. I tend to pull the end very tight so it's only a tiny little bit and that helps to keep it all together. I keep wrapping until my ball measures about 10 centimeters around or 4 inches. I'm still stretching that wool out to create smaller, thinner strands to wrap around my ball. That helps keeping the ball tight and firm. I've taken some strands of the clean carded wool and I'm creating almost a star pattern. I'm going to take the ball and place it in the centre of it. I'll pull all of the strands around it, then place my cotton gauze over the top and pull down. I'm now taking the thread, your strong thread. I'll create a knot, slip that over the ball keeping everything tight and pull tight. Wrap it around a few times. And I'm going to tie it with a knot here. A double knot. Now I've just wrapped a little extra of the string around to create a bit more of a neck. You don't need to do this, but I like to. And I'm creating another double knot here. And I'm going to trim it and the cotton so it doesn't seem all bulky inside my little doll's body.
Now we're going to make this eye line on our mini doll. To do that, we need a strong piece of cotton string and our mini head that doesn't have the eye line. Now sometimes if your head is particularly round or wide, it might help if you just kind of roll it in your hands a little bit to make it easier to tie on. Now what we want to do is put a knot around the middle of the head. Now the easiest way to get it to stay into position is to sort of just roll it over very gently and tie your knot here. And try not to twist your threads, mine are twisted here. Before I tighten, untwist it. And you can see that it's tightened. Now I'm just going to secure that with a double knot. Now you can see that that is not in a very good position. I'm going to use a crochet hook to pull this line down into a, a better position that I'm happier with. Just do it very gently and you don't want to rip the cotton underneath. Okay, that looks better. I can see my knot is not quite at the back. If I want to fix that, I just grab it and pull it around a little bit till it's lined up with the back. Now you can go ahead and snip here. In the next step, we'll be taking cotton and thread to secure our eye line to the head with little stitches here and on the opposite side here. Okay, see you in the next step. Now I have a needle and thread I'm going to decide which is the front of my doll's face. Then I can attach the thread to the side of the head. And I'm going to do a couple of stitches on each side of the doll's head to secure that eye line thread in place. I'm pushing the needle all the way through the doll's head using pliers to help that needle come through so I don't hurt my fingers and I'm doing a few more stitches on the opposite side again to secure that eye line in place. With a regular Waldorf doll's head you would do another thread around the top and the bottom of the head to create more of a chin. But with a Waldorf mini doll head, I don't do this. I don't find it necessary. You may do this if you think it would help or if you'd like that look. I've just broken my string here. So I'm going to do a few more stitches in place to make sure that eye line is secure. Now that I've finished securing that eye line, I'm going to tie a knot here and trim my edges. And there we are. Now we have a little head for a mini Waldorf doll. Thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful, show your support by giving it a like. And if you'd like to stay updated with all of my new tutorials, please subscribe.